Oh man, he rocked me. Fortunately, I mastered the greatest defensive boxing technique to have ever existed. Of course, I'm talking about pushing. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> I can't believe this actually works. No, oh, get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> yeah, Undisputed is not good. That statement could apply to the newly released boxing game or the Fox Sports 1 talk show. That is my turn! Boxing video game fans have been starved for a game for well over a decade, but this is like that scene in SpongeBob where Squidward tries to eat a Krabby Patty but just ends up eating the garbage around it instead. Let's just jump right into it. The first thing you'll notice is the game's weak roster. You have the likes of Canelo, Fury, Wilder, Crawford, and legends like Muhammad Ali, Roy Jones, and the Sugar Rays. But as far as who's missing, you name it. Floyd, Pacquiao, Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Holyfield, Foreman, Bernard Hopkins, Oscar De La Hoya, and WWF Brawl for All champion and jackass star, Butterbean, just to name a few. I'm sure more will be added, but people who wanted a boxing game for 10 years are going to expect a little bit more than what this game's offering. I can make an exception for people like Floyd, but overall, come on now. The presentation really isn't all that impressive either. The game graphically looks all right. It's not gonna blow you away, but it doesn't look bad either. I especially like the different kinds of arenas too. The character models look quite nice. There are some things I don't like about the presentation, such as the refs not being in the ring at all. And the fact that in between rounds, your corner never works on cuts and bruises. They just talk to you like a misbehaving child. The commentary is just bad. And there's the bell to start the round. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. What are you even talking about, bro? The fight just started five seconds ago. But the gameplay. This is what anyone cares about. Well, let's get those positives out of the way. I love the locomotion that the fighters have. I'm, I'm serious, I can watch fighters just walk around the ring forever. It looks really, really good. Fighters also have their own signature styles, so most fighters don't have duplicate animations. I, I love that. As far as positives go, that's about it. Undisputed prides itself on simulation. Each boxing match is supposed to be a chess match where players calculate each move before throwing it. You have to make reads, make adjustments to prove that not only does the best boxer come out of it, but also the smartest one. Yeah, if that was a chess match, then I think half the pieces are missing before we started the game. Where do I even begin? Firstly, the camera swings all around and all over. I hate it. And there's no camera that fixes this issue besides the over-the-shoulder boulder holder. But I'm not using this. And one of the odder features for this game is that you can set the camera for each individual arena. I've never really seen an unnecessary feature like this before. And by the way, avoid one of the gym arenas at all costs because the coaches can obscure your view and get in the way. Get the fuck out of the way, I can't see. I've seen better camera control during World Star Street Fights. Hit detection is some of the worst I've ever seen in a modern video game. It's just random. Punches that should connect just miss, and punches that should miss connect. This is number one bullshit. Sometimes you can even get hit with nothing at all. Did this man just get sniped? Like what happened? Boxers punch very strange at times. Like bro, who are you aiming at with this punch? Head movement is just random and not satisfying to use at all. There are times I completely slip a punch but still get hit anyway. The defensive tools that the game gives you in general are horrible. There's these slips you can do, but they decided to make you push the left stick in and then move the left stick in a direction to slip. Just terrible. There are so many times I inadvertently click in the left stick in the heat of the fight and just start ducking and weaving. The right stick is the total punch control that I don't use, so maybe I can map the slipping to the right stick? Nope. You can't. You have some different control layouts, but you cannot manually map anything yourself. Now it's time to bring up the most talked about problem, the stamina and the power punches. In this quote unquote realistic simulation, you are not punished for throwing power punches and missing with them. You can just continuously do it with little to no effect on your stamina. Even the most basic 
bottom of the barrel combat sports games understand stamina and its effects, but not this game? So the optimal strategy is just power punching. You're not punished for missing, so why not? You can't even interrupt the power punch and intercept it with a strike of your own because the strike just goes through anyway. Your intercepting punches in this instance don't have any stopping power. It doesn't even matter who hits who first, it just matters if it's a power punch or not. Here's footage of me knocking out Ali in three rounds on Undisputed Difficulty. Me just swinging wild hooks. It's brain dead, and I can't even find a way to avoid it personally. Hey, maybe you're right, commenter using internet phrases because you don't have one original thought. I'm going to go into this game's practice mode and try and lab it out, you know, try and practice and study movements of the game. Oh, wait a minute. This game doesn't have any practice mode, does it? God, this is so realistic. Undisputed doesn't even get knockdowns right. You have the same handful of animations. You have the ones to the body that make you take a knee. You can pull a Kaepernick and take a knee manually if you want to. God, when are they gonna take politics out of my video games, am I right? But what mostly happens is that you'll land a punch and the fighters go slump like a bum outside of 7-Eleven. But these knockdowns don't even make any sense in terms of continuity. Like, you can knock someone down in the corner on their stomach, but the game will transition to the fighter being down on their back in the middle of the ring. I just don't get it, man. And the game is missing things too. There are no feints in this strategic chess match at all or any clinching, so much for realism. At its best, Undisputed is the best when you're playing realistically and pray it works right. Because when it does, it looks pretty good and it can be satisfying. Tried to score with the uppercut. The counter lands. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? The greatest Muhammad Ali is down. Do you believe it? But that's so few and far in between. And you'll have to get a buddy to play with you to set up house rules so your game just doesn't devolve into power spamming. That is the only way I ever have fun with this game. And I'm well aware that the power stuff will most likely get patched. But firstly, I don't care what the software will be. I care about what it is right now. And secondly, I need to know how the hell this game that prides itself on realism lets something like this even be a thing in the first place. Game modes are lacking too. Online is terrible. Take almost everything I said about the gameplay and magnify it by 10. The hit detection is made even worse because the game desyncs. Bro, I don't even know what just happened. Online is just filled with dudes spamming power punches with Wilder. Enter at your own risk. What happened? Hello? Okay, I guess I'll quit. Oh, I'm the one that's leaving games too much? <laughs> it's even a chore to get into a game because when a match starts, you and your opponent have to both agree to skip the four or so cutscenes before the fight starts. And not all the weight classes are available to select. The cherry on the Sunday is that if your opponent rage quits or quits out in general, you do not get the win and he doesn't get the loss. Welcome to mid 2000s online gaming. This online play is practically unplayable. The only other worthwhile thing to talk about is the career mode. You can create your guy with this limited creator and then start your journey. Now I'll give credit where it's due and I'll praise Undisputed on some things that I've been asking for in career modes forever. You have to constantly assign your staff, a manager, a cut man who doesn't work on cuts, but I'll shut up and a coach this costs money and each person you can hire specializes in different things you have to work your way up the rankings to win titles one of the things i really like is the fact that you can negotiate fights 
and can even reach out to fighters to negotiate a fight. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. You have to balance training with weight management, which sounds like a great addition on the surface, but it's really simple. It's just making sure you're on weight before accepting a fight. Nothing too hard, and it's just pressing buttons on a menu at the end of the day. The whole career wears on you pretty quickly, and that's probably because I think the gameplay isn't good, so that doesn't help. There's nothing to really spice things up. Training and weight management just boils down to button press. There's nothing really all that interactive. There's building blocks here, but it's a little eh. You can't ever change weight classes at all. You know how you have that multi-division champ Roy Jones Jr. in the game? Well, tough shit, you can't emulate his career even if you select them. And that's really all the game modes that Undisputed even has. Even if the gameplay was good, there's nothing really to do with it because online play doesn't even work. But the gameplay isn't good and the fact that this game costs 60 to $80 is absolutely insane and should be $40 at most. I don't care how small of a studio Steel City Interactive is. I don't care how long we haven't gotten a boxing game. I'm not just gonna accept shit because some small studio made a game in a barren genre. I'd like to say that they can work on it and eventually give us a good game, but considering that this game was in Steam Early Access for over a year before release and this is what we end up getting? I wouldn't count on it. This opinion will probably be controversial, and especially this next statement. I am not joking. I am 100% serious when I say that if you remove the kicks, knees, elbows, and grappling from UFC 5 and just have it be pure boxing, that is still unfortunately significantly better than Undisputed.